हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एटॉमिक एंड आयनिक रेडी आयनाइजेशन इन थाल्पी एंड इलेक्ट्रो इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स लास्ट क्लास I have started the new chapter that is the p block elements and I have given general introduction and also I discussed general physical properties of group 15 elements now I will highlight few points and then uh, I will discuss physical properties and chemical properties of group 15 elements first i will discuss electronic configuration that is the trends of some of the atomic physical and uh, chemical properties i will discuss of group 15 elements then electronic configuration i am going to discuss the valence cell electronic configuration of uh, group 15 elements is ns square np3 means total 5 ns square np3 then 2 plus 3 5 electrons okay in the last orbit n here n n is the number of number of orbit ns ns square np3 the the s or vital in these elements is completely filled and p or vital is half filled making their electronic configuration extra stable question is asked then due to half filled p or vital it got extra stability either in half filled or fully filled atom gets stability okay then here uh, this is a p or vital is half filled that's that gives a extra stability now atomic and ionic ready covalent and uh, ionic covalent and ionic uh, ready increases increases in size down the group covalent both covalent and ionic ready in a particular state increases in size down the group there is a considerable increase in covalent radius from nitrogen to phosphorus however from arsenic to bismuth only a, a small increase in covalent radius is observed this is due to the presence of a completely filled d and d and a for vitals okay either d or a for vitals in heavier Uh, elements correct this question is asked again i am telling you that uh, this uh, considerable increase in covalent ready is from nitrogen to phosphorus however from arsenic to bismuth arsenic to bismuth only a small increase in covalent radius is observed this is due to the presence of completely filled and a for vital or both in heavier members now ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy decreases down the group due to gradual increase in 
atomic size because of the extra stable half p orbitals electronic configuration and a smaller size the ionization enthalpy of the group group of 15 element is much greater than that of group 14 elements in the corresponding periods the order of uh, here i again want to clear it that uh, ionization enthalpy this question is actually asked that's why i want to tell you okay uh, ionization enthalpy decreases down the group due to gradual increase in atomic size because of the extra stable half filled p orbitals electronic configuration and uh, a smaller size the ionization enthalpy of the group 15 elements is uh, much greater than that of group 15 elements in the corresponding periods the order of successive ionization enthalpies is expected i am telling you uh, expectation it is expected is a delta delta h delta h h1 you can say this is less than delta h2 and delta h2 is less than delta h3 okay this is the uh, order of successive ionization in you can say enthalpies ionization enthalpies that is the delta h of uh, delta h1 you can say there are three expectation already i have discussed and this ionization first ionization second ionization third ionization then delta h1 is less than delta h2 and delta h2 is less than delta h3 means first ion first ionization energy is is less than second and second is less than third means it is difficult to remove the you can say electron from the third one first one is easy second was little difficult third one is more difficult now i am going to discuss that is uh, electronegativity the electronegativity value in general decreases down the group with increasing atomic size however among us the heavier elements among the heavier elements the difference is not that much pro- pronounced okay the electronegativity value in general decreases down the group with increasing atomic size however among us the heavier elements the difference is not that much pronounced now i am going to discuss physical properties okay physical properties of group 15 elements all the elements all the elements of uh, this group are uh, polyatomic first point all the elements of this group are polyatomic dinitrogen is a dinitrogen is a diatomic gas while all other are solids this is a important point dinitrogen is a diatomic gas while all others are solids metallic character increases down the group nitrogen and phosphorus are non metals arsenic and 
एंटीमोनी मेटा मेटाल मेटालॉइड्स नाइट्रोजन एंड फॉस्फोरस आर नॉन मेटल्स फर्स्ट थिंग्स सेकेंड थिंग्स आर्सेनिक एंड एंटीमोनी आर मेटालॉइड्स एंड थर्ड थिंग्स बिस्मथ इज ए मेटल दिस इज ड्यू टू डिक्रीज इन आयनाइजेशन इन थाल्पी एंड इनक्रीज इन एटॉमिक साइज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स इन जनरल इनक्रीजेज फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम इन ग्रुप बट द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इनक्रीजेज अप टू आर्सेनिक एंड देन डिक्रीजेज अप टू बिस्मथ एक्सेप्ट नाइट्रोजन ऑल द एलिमेंट्स सो एलोट्रॉपी दिस आई हैव टोल्ड अबाउट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ओके जस्ट लाइक ए कार्बन कार्बन सोज एलोट्रॉपी दिज एल एक्सेप्ट नाइट्रोजन ऑल द एलिमेंट्स सो एलोट्रॉपी ओके नाउ केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स अंडर पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट आई विल डिस्कस ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स एंड ट्रेंड इन केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी द कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स आर माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री एंड प्लस फाइव द टेंडेंसी टू एक्जिविट माइनस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट डिक्रीजेस डाउन द ग्रुप ड्यू टू इनक्रीज इन साइज एंड मेटालिक करेक्टर इन फैक्ट लास्ट मेंबर ऑफ द ग्रुप बिस्मथ हार्डली फॉर्म्स एनी कंपाउंड इन माइनस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट द एस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑल ऑल द एस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ प्लस फाइव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट डिक्रीजेज डाउन द ग्रुप द ओनली वेल कैरेक्टराइज बिस्मत द ओनली वेल कैरेक्टराइज बिस्मत दैट इज अ फिफ्थ प्लस फाइव आई एम टॉकिंग प्लस फाइव कॉमनली इज बी आई एफ फाइव बिस्मत पेंटा फ्लोराइड ओके दिस इज द ओनली ओनली वेल कैरेक्टराइज बिस्मत बिस्मत कंपाउंड इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बिस्मत कंपाउंड फिफ्थ कंपाउंड प्लस फाइव दैट इज द बिस्मत बी आई एफ फाइव बिस्मत पेंटा फ्लोराइड द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ प्लस फाइव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट डिक्रीजेज एंड दैट ऑफ प्लस थ्री स्टेट इनक्रीजेज वाई ड्यू टू इनाट इनाट पेयर एफेक्ट डाउन द ग्रुप दिस क्वेश्चन इज आज अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ प्लस फाइव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट डिक्रीजेज एंड दैट ऑफ प्लस थ्री स्टेट इनक्रीजेज ड्यू टू इनाट पेयर एफेक्ट डाउन द ग्रुप नाइट्रोजन एक्जिविट्स प्लस वन प्लस टू एंड प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑल्सो वेन इट रिएक्ट्स विथ ऑक्सीजन फॉस्फोरस ऑल्सो शो प्लस वन एंड प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इन सम ऑक्सो एसिड्स इन केस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ऑल ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स फ्रॉम प्लस वन टू प्लस फोर टेंड टू डिसप्रोपोर्शनेट डिसप्रोपोर्शनेट इन एसिड सोल्यूशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिसप्रोपोर्शनेट देन हेयर यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट मेटल मेटल इन द रिएक्टेंट आफ्टर द रिएक्शन 
it will give two product which will have same element two products will have same element then maybe more than two also more than two i can say uh, element but their oxidation state will be different as for example this uh, hn hno3 nitric acid, uh, nitric acid example i am telling you nitric acid hno3 after disproportionation it gives a, uh, as a product hno3 plus h2o plus 2no here it is giving two product of nitrogen nitric acid is converting into hno3 and no nitric oxide plus water three products are there but out of three two contains nitrogen then both nitrogen have different oxidation state hno3 and no in hno3 and no both have different oxidation state that's why it is called disproportionate okay should understand then here if you want to write in the form of reaction then balanced equation you can write 3 hno3 it gives three product hno3 plus h2o plus 2no correct then if you calculate oxidation state then in no oxygen oxygen actually you know that is oxidation state is minus 2 then nitrogen will have plus 2 in no n is plus 2 oxygen is minus 2 it is balanced and uh, here in no3 no3 three oxygen is there then min total minus 6 3 into 2 3 into 2 6 then ox total oxygen total negative charge that is the minus 6 then nitrogen will have how much plus 6 correct then here uh, you can see the oxidation state oxidation state is different okay similarly in case of phosphoric uh, phosphorus uh, nearly all intermediate oxidation state disproportion disproportionate into plus 5 and uh, minus 3 both in alkali and acid however plus 3 oxidation state uh, in case of arsenic antimony and bismuth becomes increasingly stable with respect to disproportionation disproportionation this again i am telling you that uh, plus 3 oxidation state in case of arsenic antimony and bismuth becomes increasingly stable with respect to disproportionation nitrogen is restricted to a maximum covalency of plus uh, plus 4 since only 4 one s and 3 p or vitals are available for uh, bonding okay actually uh, this uh, hno3 hno3 now understand i told you the oxidation state hno3 three oxygen is there three oxygen oxygen is there then uh, three oxygen means 3 into minus 2 six negative charge and uh, nitrogen you want to calculate correct how much is uh, oxidation state is there then uh, here h is also there hno3 it is not only no3 minus it is not nitrate ion it is hno3 hence hydrogen plus 1 you have to consider then plus 1 plus n plus plus minus minus 6 minus 6 that is equal to 0 correct nitrogen you want to calculate then uh, 
minus 6 is there right side it will bring it will come plus 6 and hydrogen is plus 1 then it will bring it to the right side it will come minus 1 hence it will become 6 minus 1 that is 5 plus 5 then in HNO3 it is it is plus 5 okay but if it is in the nitrate form NO3 NO3 one uh, this NO3 1 minus NO3 then in that situation again it will be same that is the minus 1 is there then minus 6 if, if it will go to the right side it will come plus 6 then in that situation also it nitrogen will have plus 5 okay okay plus 5 then in HNO3 you have seen uh, that it is a plus 5 but in it uh, in uh, NO it is plus 2 that's why it is called uh, disproportionation now I am telling you that is the this about the nitrogen nitrogen is especially for nitrogen nitrogen is restricted to a maximum covalency of uh, 4 why only 4 since only 4 uh, 4 means 1 s and 3 vitals are available for bonding that's why maximum maximum you can say uh, covalency is 4 for nitrogen correct because 1 s or vital and 3 p or vitals are available for bonding the heavier elements have vacant d or vitals now uh, different property i am telling you due to d or vitals in nitrogen there is no d or vital but in other heavier elements the heavier elements have vacant d or vitals in the outermost cell which can be used for bonding and uh, hence expand their covalency in pf pf6 correct pf6 because now they have d orbitals phosphorus has d orbitals that's why here uh, it can expand it can it can expand their covalency up to this pf6 as in pf6 okay then here how much you will find phosphorus pf6 then f has one negative then six f means six negative hence p will be six positive plus six okay in this case here uh, pf6 i am talking about it can expand up to pf6 this i have told you in case of uh, you can say heavier heavier elements heavier elements have a vacant d orbitals in outermost cell which can be used for bonding and hence expand their covalency as in pf6 but it will be minus pp6 1 minus okay then uh, pf6 1 minus is there then yeah, if you count for the only p then again it will decrease by 1 okay my because minus 6 plus 1 minus 6 plus 1 uh, this thing say plus 6 minus 1 plus 6 minus 1 that is the 5 okay then uh, this I have told you that in phosphorus in nitrogen it was only 4 in nitrogen maximum covalency was 4 but in phosphorus it is more than 4 that is the 5 pf6 one negative charge is there then if you want to calculate uh, its uh, oxidation state for phosphorus then easily p plus 6 minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 means uh, here 
p p minus 6 is equal to minus 1 then uh, minus 6 you take it to the right side it will come plus 6 then plus 6 and minus 1 that is the plus 5 hence p is equal to plus 5 okay then in a nitrogen it was plus 4 but here in phosphorus it is plus 5 okay then then now i told about the this uh, um, uh, covalency of nitrogen and phosphorus and heavier elements now i am going to discuss eno anomalous properties of nitrogen actually from from uh, this uh, element group 15 group 15 elements nitrogen has a special status many question is asked about nitrogen but that is actually called that properties are called anomalous properties anomalous properties of nitrogen many questions are asked many times has been asked nitrogen differs from the rest of the members of this group due to a small size, second high electronegativity, third high ionization enthalpy and fourth non-availability of D or Y tells. Whenever you are answering any question related to nitrogen, then these four points you should consider. First, that is the small size. Nitrogen has a small size second high electronegativity third high ionization enthalpy and fourth non availability of d or vitals these four points must be considered before answering answering any question related to nitrogen nitrogen has unique ability to form P pi P pi multiple bond. P pi P pi multiple bond. This is exception for nitrogen. Okay. Nitrogen, this is the unique ability. Nitrogen has unique ability to form P pi P pi multiple bonds with itself and with other elements having a small size and high electronegativity. As for example, carbon and oxygen. These are examples C and O. Heavier elements of this group do not form P pi P pi bonds. As there, why? Why they are not uh, forming P pi P pi bond? Heavier elements. Then, because their atomic orbitals are so large and diffuse and diffuse that they cannot have effective overlapping due to this region they don't have they are not making p pi p pi bonds because their atomic orbitals are so large and diffuse that they cannot have effective overlapping thus nitrogen exists as a diatomic molecule with a triple bond 1s 1s and 2 pi 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 bond 1s bond and 2 pi bond okay s and 2p between the two atoms of nitrogen consequently its a bond enthalpy is high uh, due to this triple bond its bond enthalpy 941.4 kilojoule per mole is very high 941.4 kilojoule per mole is very high on the contrary phosphorus arsenic and uh, antimony form single bonds as pp bond uh, arsenic arsenic bond means as as bond and sb sb bond okay this nitrogen has three triple bond triple bond one sigma two pi bond between n and end but 
P and P, they are making single bond. P two, P and P between P and P single bond. A S A S arsenic arsenic single bond. Antimony antimony single bond. While bismuth, what is about the bismuth? Then bismuth forms metallic bonds in elemental state. Elemental state. However, the single N N bond. If you will consider only one bond, N N bond, that actually that does not exist. But I am telling you, if you will consider only one bond, single bond, N N bond, then N N bond is weaker than than P P bond. Means between phosphorus, phosphorus, single bond is there, and nitrogen, nitrogen, single bond, only single bond. If you will consider, then N N <coughs> <coughs> NN bond is weaker than than single PP bond because of high high you can say inter electronic repulsion of the non bonding electronic uh, non bonding electrons. Okay, owing to the owing to the a small bond length, NN bond is weaker than Single PP bond, N N sing N N single bond is bigger than single PP bond. Why? Because of high inter electronic repulsion of non bonding electrons. Okay, particular in nitrogen, non bonding electrons are there. Then repulsion will be there. That's why it is weak. And also, uh, why uh, this thing? Because uh, in phosphorus also, uh, this uh, non-bonding electrons are there. But why that is a stronger and this is weaker? N N is weaker. Then owing to the a small bond length, N N bondage, a small bond length means now both N atoms are close, close. Then close means now. Their non-bonding uh, electrons in uh, this their uh, non-bonding elect in uh, electrons will I can say repel to each other means uh, inter-electronic re uh, repulsion because both n n atoms are close bond length is uh, small then all electrons will repel to each other repulsion will be there that is called inter-electronic repulsion. Of the non-bonding electrons, okay. And uh, as a result, the catenation tendency is weaker. Catenation tendency is weaker in which weaker in nitrogen. In, uh, in nitrogen, catenation property that is uh, now what you have seen carbon has catenation property means they can join with other carbons. Four valencies are there. Then in every direction, other carbon it can join with other carbon. But in nitrogen, it is not possible. Okay, due to uh, reason I have discussed a small size and inter-electronic repulsion of uh, non say non-bonding electrons. Question is asked. Now another. Factor I am telling you another factor which affect the chemistry of nitrogen is the absence of d orbitals. Nitrogen has no no d orbital. That's why its its chemistry will be different from the other members because other members have have d orbitals. Okay, then this is the factor another factor. Which affect the chemistry of nitrogen is the absence of d orbitals, d orbitals in its valence cell. Besides restricting its covalency to four, nitrogen cannot form the d d pi and p pi bond. Correct. This is a, this is again is a very important point. Nitrogen. Cannot form d pi and p pi bond because d orbital is not there. 
dear vital is not there then how they can make uh, this bond uh, besides restricting its uh, covalency to four nitrogen cannot form d pi p pi bond as the heavy actually heavier in heavier elements it is possible because they have they have d or vital back and d or vital they have heavier elements but in nitrogen it is not possible nitrogen cannot form d pi p pi bond as the heavier elements can heavier elements can form this bond d pi and p pi bond and uh, they this example i am telling you that they can form d pi p pi bond heavier elements as a example i am telling you r3 po r3 r means alkyl group r3 po or r3 r3 p double bond ch3 okay second example is r3 p double bond CH two, not CH three, CH two. Okay, then these are these will be as uh, in complex. It will be in the form of ligand. In complex uh, coordination chemistry, might have seen with central metal ion, some group will be attached. Some uh, uh, atoms will be attached. Okay, then uh, you can say atoms or group of atoms. Which is attached to the central metal ion, that is called ligands. Then this, what I am discussing, R three PO, R three PO means P and O double bond is there, and third, second example, R three P double bond CH two. Then these will be as ligand. Okay, in particularly in transition, uh, if we they are making bond with the transition metals. Then there it will be as ligands, okay, and they will form d pi, uh, d pi d pi bond. Phosphorus and arsenic can form. I told you that here this uh, related to d pi bond. It is possible only in the heavier elements. And uh, example also I have told you. now uh, the further i want to tell you phosphorus and arsenic can form d pi d pi bond also with transition metals they themselves can form form d pi d pi bond phosphorus and arsenic can form d pi uh, d pi d pi bond also with it can form d pi d d pi d pi bond also with transition metals when their compounds like p c 2 h 5 whole 3 suppose uh, just like p s 3 3 c 2 h 5 can attached then it will form p c 2 h 5 whole 3 okay means p c 2 h 5 again p c 2 h 5 again p c 2 h 5 then you can write p c 2 h 5 whole 3 and arsenic same way a s c x c 6 h 5 whole 3 means with arsenic this phenyl group three phenyl group will be attach c 6 h 5 c 6 h 5 c 6 h 5 okay then these are this will be or this can act this a p c 2 h P C two H five whole three and A S C six H five whole three act as a ligands, okay, with transition metals. Now I am telling you properties. This I told anomalous behavior of nitrogen. Now I am discussing about the uh, this reaction reactivity. Then. first i am telling about reactivity towards hydrogen okay how it will react with hydrogen and what it will form that is called reactivity towards hydrogen all the elements of group 
फॉर्म हाइड्राइड एन एच थ्री पी एच थ्री दीज आर द हाइड्राइड ओके ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्टीन फॉर्म हाइड्राइड्स ऑफ टाइप ई एच थ्री ई इज द जनरल वे ई मीन्स इज ई मे बी ई मे बी नाइट्रोजन मे बी फॉस्फोरस मे बी आर्सेनिक मे बी एंटोमनी मे बी बिस्मत बी आई ओके दैट्स वन इज जनरल वी कैन राइट ई एच थ्री कैपिटल ई एच थ्री वेयर ई इज इक्वल टू एन पी ए एस एस बी बी आई ओके सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दीज हाइड्राइड्स आर एक्चुअली आई दिस कैन बी स्टेडेड टुगेदर आई विल टेल यू ओके कलेक्टिवली आई विल टेल यू नाउ द हाइड्राइड सो रेगुलर इफ यूल सी द आई विल टेल द प्रॉपर्टीज हाइड्राइड प्रॉपर्टीज आई विल टेल बट इफ यू विल रीड इफ यू विल स्टडी देयर प्रॉपर्टीज हाइड्राइड प्रॉपर्टीज देन यू विल फाइंड दैट हाइड्राइड सो रेगुलर ग्रेडेशन इन देयर प्रॉपर्टीज द एस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ हाइड्राइड्स डिक्रीजेज फ्रॉम एन एच थ्री टू बी आई एच थ्री मीन्स बिस्मत हाइड्राइड फ्रॉम अमोनिया टू बिस्मत हाइड्राइड एस्टेबिलिटी डिक्रीजेज ओके द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ हाइड्राइड डिक्रीजेज फ्रॉम एन एच थ्री टू बी आई एच थ्री विच कैन बी ऑब्जॉर्ब फ्रॉम देयर बॉन्ड डिसोसिएशन इन थालपी Consequently, the reducing character, oxidizing character, reducing character, you know, oxidizing character means which can oxidize, reducing character which can reduce. Okay, oxidation, you know, in oxidation loss of electron, then uh, they will lose the electron in presence of someone, in presence of someone. That will take the electron. Then that someone is actually oxidizing agent. Due to that, oxidation is taking place. Then same way for the reduction. In reduction, gain of reduction is gain of electron. Then someone will give the electron. Someone will give the electron. That that someone who will give the electron that is the reducing agent. then i am talking about that reducing uh, this reducing agent okay then here you have to understand uh, that uh, about the re- reducing character i am talking about ammonia is a, uh, only ammonia here ammonia is only a mild reducing agent while bismuth hydride bis3 is the strongest A strongest reducing agent amongst all the hydrides. Question is asked in examination. Okay, that you remember. Again, I am telling you that uh, this uh, uh, variation. I told you the stability of hydrides decreases from NH three to BS three. First question which is asked. That it decreases the stability of hydrides decreases from NH three to bismuth hydride. Okay, which can be absorbed from their bond dissociation in thalpy. Consequently, reducing character of the hydrides increases. Okay, reducing character of the hydrides increases. Okay, and uh, next important point that uh, ammonia is uh, only a mild reducing agent, while bismuth hydride is the strongest re- reducing agent amongst all the hydrides. Basicity, basicity is related to that loss of electron here uh, that which can lose. Electron fast, that will be more basic. Generally, metal will be more basic because they have tendency to lose the electron. Okay, process is oxidation, but losing tendency 
tendon tree is talking about the basic CT. Okay, then just you can compare NS3 that basic CT. I am telling basic CT. All first to understand basic CT also decreases from top to bottom in a group. Uh, this uh, in in a in a period. Not you are talking about the fifteenth group. Fifteenth group I am talking about fifteenth group elements. Okay, then only from up to down means uh, from nitrogen to bismuth. Then NS three is more basic than PS three. PS three is again uh, more basic than ASS three. And AS S three is the more basic, a stronger means S B S three, and S B S three is more stronger than B I H three. This is the basicity. Basicity. I told you basicity decreases in the order. How basicity decreases? Then here I am telling you order. I am taking the N S three. NH three is greater than PS three means a NH three will supply more nitrogen has more here NH three I am talking about you are talking about the basicity of molecule NH three PS three AS three SB three BIS three means talking about the uh, basicity of hydride basicity of Hydride, then NH three is a uh, its order. Uh, you can say it is more character. NH three is its basicity is more, and uh, bismuth bismuth basicity is less. Bismuth uh, hydride I am talking about. Then uh, here basicity order and basicity now you can say decreases. Basicity decreases in the order. Means NH three is more basic than PS three. PS three is more basic than arsenic hydride. Arsenic hydride is more basic than more basic than SBS three means antimony hydride. And antimony hydride is more basic than bismuth hydride. This question is asked. Always remember that. Uh, Ammonia is more basic than all these, all these four members. Okay, total five are there. Then nitrogen among that nitrogen is in the top. Nitrogen in the top and list NH three ammonia, ammonia, and list is list is this bismuth hydride. Okay, high is ammonia and list is bismuth. Now I am telling about the hydride. Uh, you can say properties. Hydride, especially especially hydride properties. I am telling you. Then uh, first, uh, uh, this uh, melting point. I will tell melting point of hydride. Uh, I am going to discuss uh, now properties of hydride of group group fifteen elements. Then first melting point. You see, then. Melting point of NS three, NS three, that is a hundred hundred ninety five point two one nine five one ninety five point two, that is in Kelvin, and uh, after that PS three is less one thirty nine point five, and uh, arsenic hydride, arsenic hydride is one fifty six point seven. More than PS three, more than PS three, but less than ammonia, and uh, antimony, antimony is more, one eighty five, okay, and uh, for bismuth, it is not, you can say known. Now, boiling point of these hydride, these hydride means first. Uh, This ammonia I am talking about NH three, a hey, nitrogen hydride. Then now it's a melting point is two thirty eight point five Kelvin. 
238.5 kelvin and uh, ps3 what is uh, its melting point ps3 for phosphine gas there are two gas don't uh, confuse one is ps3 phosphine and cocl2 that is called phosgene that is a uh, cocl2 is a make the deadly poisonous gas cocl2 that is phosgene g e n phosgene okay but now i am talking about phosphine ps3 ph3 then uh, here melting point of ps3 is less than less than nh3 nh3 its value is 185.5 and what about arsenic hydride then it is it is a little more 210 210 kelvin and uh, what about the antimony antimony then it is further more 254 and uh, this bismuth 290 290 correct then some uh, this is there gradation is there but sometimes uh, some variation is there okay then there what are the region then i told you that uh, this uh, a small size non availability of uh, d or vitals okay non availability of d or vitals in nitrogen but in other it is uh, available this is the one major factor as nitrogen is a small size then size differences are there in all elements d or vital is not there that is the main factor then these are actually responsible these are actually responsible for this deviation okay valency covalency covalency is also uh, this uh, that uh, oxidation state i told you that uh, that will come under the covalency only and these due to these are different for different uh, uh, elements these properties and also inert inert pair effect is there then all things are the region for variation in general now i am telling about the dissociation energy dissociation dissociation i also first understand from the distance point of view distance okay distance just like a bond e and h bond e in general e may be nitrogen e may be phosphorus arsenic bismuth then in general eh bond bond distance in picometer then now nitrogen nh3 3h3 bonds are there then its uh, bond length bond length that is the 101.7 picometer means less because bond is uh, strong and ps3 it is more 141.9 it is expected and arsenic also more further more 151.9 it is also expected and uh, again antimony that is also more 170.7 what about the bismuth hydride then till date it is not reported now uh, this angle i am talking about nh3 is there nh3 then between the h h n h n h bond correct h n h bond n is in the middle both side suppose h h is there then that is the bond angle then in general we can tell h e h h e h bond then now understand that uh, this bond degree centigrade uh, can measure then that is a 107 107 for nitrogen and it is less in ph3 93.6 and further less is for arsenic 
91.8 and uh, this uh, antimony it is a uh, little less than ASH3 91.3 ASH3 is 91.8 but SVS3 is 91.3 and uh, for SV uh, bismuth it is not reported and now i am telling about the this uh, uh, bond energy okay bond energy kilo joule per mole or what are you telling that um, heat of formation you can tell heat of formation then heat of formation that is for uh, nh3 i am talking about per mole kilo joule per mole its value is very very less minus 46.1 minus 46 huh? that is very less kilo joule per mole and others are positive that is the ps3 that is 13.4 all are in plus only ammonia is in negative minus 46.1 then now you can understand it's a dis dissociation energy is so less huh? then means uh, it is a uh, it will it will not uh, minus means here it is very uh, strong very uh, stable okay during formation energy was required during formation energy was required but another it is not like that then ps3 is 13.4 kilojoule per mole okay this is the delta h value plus plus value then uh, this things uh, exothermic reaction means minus minus correct then here minus is only in a nitrogen case other all in plus plus that's why nitrogen is stable delta H value is negative exothermic reaction but other are endothermic endo okay all values are in plus delta H value is in plus then as this nitrogen is minus 46.1 minus 46.1 plus 13 ph3 13.4 and uh, ash3 66.4 and antimony 145.1 and bismuth 278 then more the value of uh, this delta H plus 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 means in all this formation energy is required but the nitrogen case it is released minus value is there minus means what delta H minus value means exothermic means it will be released and it plus means it is heat, heat is required okay now uh, this things uh, this i have discussed about the um, properties of uh, hydrides of group 15 elements okay and uh, one more property is uh, that is you can understand uh, that is a uh, dissociation energy dissociation energy if you break the bond then what will happen what i discussed now that was the formation formation the heat of formation now i am telling you heat of dissociation actually all are related all are related formation and then dissociation reverse of formation is dissociation correct then uh, I am talking about that that uh, uh, dissociation. Then now uh, dissociation energy is uh, for NH3. We want to dissociate dissociate NH3. Uh, you are not talking about the NN bond. Don't confuse. You are not talking about the NN triple bond. Here you are talking about the N and H bond is formed three bond you are talking about that bond understood N and H hydration 
hydride properties you are studying not the uh, bond between an and n okay here bond dissociation dissociation energy is for n and h p and h arsenic and h antimony and h bismuth and h okay in that way you think then for uh, nh3 it is a uh, 389 and uh, ph3 that is less 322 and ash3 is again further less 297 and antimony is again further less 255 and uh, bismuth is not reported then here i have uh, uh, i discussed about the dissociation energy also dissociation energy of hydride okay then uh, these properties are important for sometimes uh, uh this these things are also asked question is asked from hydride okay especially for nitrogen they are asking then uh, when you are answering i am telling you you must consider first size size okay d r vital you are, i told today d r vital is i can say uh, available or not available these things uh, you have to answer dissociation energy dissociation energy formation energy all things you have to consider while answering now second property i am discussing that is uh, that is the reactivity towards uh, oxygen oxygen reaction with oxygen all these elements means group 15 elements form two types of oxides means e2o3 e2o5 you know just like p2o3 p2o5 that in a general way we are telling e2o e2o3 and e2o5 the oxide in the higher oxidation state the oxides in the higher oxidation state of the element is more acidic than that of lower oxygen state their acidic character decreases down the group the oxides of uh, of the type e2o3 of nitrogen and phosphorus are purely acidic question is asked okay type e2o3 of nitrogen and phosphorus means uh, n2o3 P2O3, I am talking about that. That in general, E2O3 of nitrogen and phosphorus are purely acidic. That of arsenic and antimony, amphoteric, means it can be have as acidic as well as basic. That is called amphoteric. Question is asked. Then, arsenic oxide and antimony oxides are. amphoteric question is asked and those of bismuth then bismuth is predominantly basic nature now next property is reactivity towards halogen halogen means fluorine chlorine bromine iodine then reactive towards halogen group 15 elements react to form two series of halides E X three and E X five means uh, uh, P C L three P C L five like that. Okay. Nitrogen does not form. I uh, can say penta halide. Just to keep in mind, question is asked. Why it is not forming penta chloride or penta halide? Okay. Nitrogen does not form. penta halide why due to, due to non availability of the d orbitals in its valence shell penta halides are more covalent than tri halides question is asked penta halides are more covalent than tri halides all the tri halides of these element 
लिसन केयरफुली ऑल द ट्राई हेलाइट्स ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स एक्सेप्ट दोज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन आर स्टेबल इन केस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ओनली एन एफ थ्री इज नोन टू बी हेयर लिसन केयरफुली क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग ऑल द ट्राई हेलाइट्स ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स एक्सेप्ट दैट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन आर एस्टेबल ओके नाइट्रोजन अदर मीन्स हेलाइट्स आर नॉट एस्टेबल एक्सेप्ट दो जो ऑफ नाइट्रोजन आर स्टेबल ओके बट वन एक्सेप्शन इज देयर दैट क्वेश्चन इज आज दैट्स वाई एम रिपीटिंग इन केस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ओनली एन एफ थ्री इज नोन टू बी स्टेबल दिस इज एन एक्सेप्शन अदरवाइज ऑलवेज अदर हेलाइट्स आर अनस्टेबल ओनली एन एफ थ्री इज नोन टू बी स्टेबल ड्राई हेलाइट्स एक्सेप्ट बिस्मत बी आई एफ थ्री बिस्मत ट्राई फ्लोराइड अगेन यू लिसन दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्राई हेलाइट्स एक्सेप्ट बिस्मत ट्राई फ्लोराइड आर प्री डिमोनेंटली कोवैलेंट इन नेचर बी आई एफ थ्री इज ए कोवैलेंट्री प्री डोमिनेंटली मीन्स मोर कोवैलेंट्स इन नेचर ओके बट बी आई थ्री इज नॉट देयर एक्सेप्शन इज देयर बी आई थ्री ड्राई हेलाइट्स एक्सेप्ट बी आई एफ थ्री ओके बी आई थ्री इज एक्सेप्शन ऑल आर को वैलेंट इन नेचर बी आई एफ थ्री इज नॉट को वैलेंट इट इज आयोनिक एंड रीजन यू नो फ्लोरिन इज मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एलिमेंट एंड बिस्मत इज बेसिक मेटालिक दैट्स वाई दिस इज आयोनिक क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड नाउ नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टीज आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट इज रिएक्टिविटी टुवर्ड्स मेटल्स ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स रिएक्ट विथ मेटल्स टू फॉर्म देयर बाइनरी कंपाउंडस एक्जिबिटिंग माइनस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इफ यूल सी रिएक्शन विथ मेटल देन यू विल फाइंड माइनस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट करेक्ट ऑल फिफ्टीन ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स रिएक्ट विथ मेटल टू फॉर्म देयर बाइनरी कंपाउंडस एक्जिबिटिंग माइनस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एग्जाम्पल सी ए थ्री एन टू कैल्शियम नाइट्राइड सी ए थ्री एन टू नाइट्रोजन हैज माइनस थ्री कैल्शियम इज प्लस टू इट इज इन दैट इज क्रॉस वे सी ए थ्री एन टू देन दिस टू इज टेलिंग अबाउट द कैल्शियम ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट सी ए थ्री दिस थ्री इज टेलिंग अबाउट द नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट देन दिस इज माइनस थ्री स्टेट कैल्शियम दैट इज कॉल्ड कैल्शियम नाइट्राइड सेम वे सी ए थ्री से सी ए थ्री पी टू कॉल कैल्शियम फॉसफाइड हेयर ऑल्सो सी ए थ्री पी टू दिस थ्री इज फॉर फॉसफोरस क्रॉस माइनस थ्री ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड कैल्शियम फॉसफाइड फॉसफाइड पी एच आई डी ई लास्ट इज द डी ई के फॉसफाइड नाइट्राइड आई डी ई नॉट नाइट्राइट आई टी ई दिस इज द डी ई नाइट्राइड सी ए थ्री एन टू सी ए थ्री एन टू कैल्शियम नाइट्राइड सी ए थ्री पी टू कैल्शियम फॉसफाइड अदर एग्जाम्पल इज एन ए टू ए एस थ्री सोडियम आर्सेनाइड एंड एन अदर एग्जाम्पल इज जेड एन टू एस बी थ्री दैट इज द जिंक एंटीमोनाइड जिंक एंटीमोनाइड एंटीमोनी एंटीमोनाइड एंड एम जी थ्री एम जी थ्री बी आई टू एम जी थ्री बी आई टू दैट इज कॉल्ड मैग्नेस मैग्नेशियम बिस्मुथाइड बिस्मत बिस्मत दैट्स वाई बिस्मथाइड आई डी ई यू हैव टू राइट आई डी ई देन मैग्नेशियम बिस् बिस्मथाइड के एम जी थ्री बी आई टू देन 
आई हैव डिस्कस्ड जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ केम फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज के नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल कंटिन्यू अदर प्रॉपर्टीज मीन्स मेनी कंपाउंड्स आर देयर आई विल डिस्कस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अदर कंपाउंड्स ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स थैंक यू